Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. We are going to be reacting to this video about holidays and birthdays and all of those festivities. Check this video out. Y'all know this every month is something to celebrate. This is strategic. Let's start with Black Friday. Do y'all know it's called Black Friday because most companies are negative all year. They go into the black that one day. They run a special and it's called Black Friday. Now they got a new one, Brown Thursday. <laughs> we used to eat Thanksgiving dinner and chill out. Now the specials are when? Thanksgiving. You don't even eat, you done move your dinner up. You know what, flat screen's going on sale tonight. You eating dinner at 12.30. So Brown Thursday, this is big business. Brown Thursday got you eating dinner early. Cyber what? Monday. 24th of December is what? Christmas Eve. 25th is what? 31st, January 1st, February 14th, March, the kids going to spring, April, May, June, July, kids go back to, in what month, September, October, November, we're back to, all the way around. Now, we haven't done birthdays, we haven't done proms, vacations, we haven't done graduation, we haven't done anniversaries, we ain't been to Vegas yet. <laughs> All right, Kirby. I like this video. He, uh, I, I, I like that he had all of them lined up because I always tell people, I'm like, you guys don't see that it's strategic. And then, like, I can name a couple, but then he, like, named one per month. I was like, dang, he got all of them. And, um, mm -hmm. I like his point with this, you know, it's, I will say between, I think, so for everyone watching between me and Kirby, I think Kirby is like hardcore dictator. You can't do none of this crap. You suck. <laughs> for me, it's like, I just, it's like, I, I think people, the majority of people shouldn't be doing it. They can't afford it. But then for the rest, it's like, I just, I'm not, a, I don't care as much. I just think it's like. I don't know. For like birthdays, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like, uh, I think it's weird seeing an old person celebrate, oh, it's my birthday. I think it's kind of weird, but, um, but yeah, what, what do you, uh, I know this is, this is all you, Kirby, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you take the reins, take over. <laughs> yep, this is all me. Um, yeah, I don't believe nobody should be celebrating. Um, uh, the, the thing, and when I first started doing it, so for people to understand, I stopped celebrating Christmas when I was 13 years old. So it's not a new phenomenon for me. I, at 13 years old, constantly told my mom, stop buying me stuff for Christmas. And the reason why was I seen the cycle it put her in. And my mom was, you know, upfront. If we, we asked her financial questions, she would be upfront and tell me. And uh, I remember... Uh, at this particular time, you know, she was, we just talking about bills or something. I've got to be 12, 13 years old. And we talking about bills and she said she, okay, this is the last payment she has to a friend of hers. And then I said, what is that payment for? And then it was for Christmas. But now, mind you, we nine months into the next year. And so I asked the question. I said, so... I like, so how often do you do this? And she said, this is how it is every year. You know, this person helps out every year, fronts the money for us to have Christmas, and then she pays them back over time. And I, so I said, wait, I had to repeat it. So I said it back to her and she was like, yeah. She was like, boy, that's how, that's how it is. That's, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And then I said, I don't want nothing up for Christmas. I mean, of course, my brother's looking at me, looking at me like I'm crazy. You know, they was even asking, hey, can I get hit presents since he don't want them? <laughs> uh, but and the cycle just didn't make sense. Like, why why do you do this stuff for, for a day? And I mean, I was just like any other kid. You put all this money into giving kids these gifts for one day. And then 90% of the stuff they're not even going to play with. And then... It's going to be broken and forgot about. And then they just there waiting for 
the next Christmas. So that's when I stopped. Uh, I saw the financial impact because I, so the birthday thing for me, and me, it's no holidays, no holiday. I mean, no, but um, the birthday thing, I just saw people do the most egregious things on their birthday. It, I've saw people and Alex, you probably heard people do this too. I, I knew people who rent was due, utilities due, car payments due, but it's their birthday month and a paycheck come and said, Oh, I'm just not gonna pay it because it's my birthday. I gotta turn up. I gotta party. Like I'm thinking, when this day is over, you know those bills still gonna be there, and then you're gonna be calling. You're gonna be calling me, or you're gonna be calling somebody else in with the sob story. Hey, my life's about to get cut off. Like we just didn't see you turning up on Facebook, blowing all the money for your birthday. I think that that's the one major disservice parents do to kids: make them believe that. The day is of their birthday, they have penalty free. I mean, it's it's no matter what's going on, we have to celebrate and we have to do it big or whatever. I think that's a big disservice because when those kids grow up, they think that same way. But it's my birthday. I could do whatever I want. Right. I mean, these nappy head badass kids, they bad 364 days a year. And then you reward them on a birthday and on Christmas and all that other crap. So what is the incentive to actually do anything? But then these spoiled kids, these parents who spoiled them and, you know, gave them whatever they wanted on their birthdays and holidays and all this other crap, they grow up to be spoiled as adults. And then they want to procreate or be with somebody else of the opposite sex, same sex, whatever the hell going on in this world today. But they want to be with these people. And then they expect these people to cater to them and do the same things that, their parents did. That's that's what I think is a major issue with a lot of relationships, why they go awry. Because y'all parents, we screw our kids the hell up. And then we pass them off to somebody else's kids. And then now it's time to be an adult. And nobody don't want to be a damn adult. So that's that's really my thesis behind it. I don't I don't think nobody should, and you can go with if you can afford to do it, but then as soon as you say, oh, if you can afford to do it, then, oh, so the people the people who got money should celebrate it, and the people that ain't got the money should celebrate it. I don't think nobody should celebrate it. Nobody should. It's all an economic game on you dummies. America is a consumer society. The reason why they keep coming up with these holidays, giving you damn days off a national holiday, is so you can spend money. That's all it's about. They need you to spend money so they can stay economically viable. If everybody stops spending money, the U.S. will go into recession. That's just simple as it is. We are a consumer society. And they will use every trick employed to make sure you live paycheck to paycheck every day of your life. And then they'll tell you something like, oh, don't worry about it. When you turn 65, we'll take care of you with Social Security with a $1,300 paycheck. Where the hell are you going to be living for $1,300 a month? Exactly. They set you up to fail, and then the only thing y'all want to do is, oh, the government ain't, ain't here to help us. We need to elect the president that's going to give us everything. How about you save your damn self? Stop being stupid. Stop just following along, because that's tradition. Mom and them did it. Let me tell you a secret. Mom and them, grandma and them, auntie and them, they damn retarded too. And it ain't their fault. They didn't know no better. They just damn didn't know no better. Mm. Call it what it is. You know, most of them, you know, seventh, eighth grade, and now you living on these damn traditions that these people, you following damn dummy. And you keep the cycle going, and then you get mad at people like Alex, who saved his money and didn't go out and spend it, and said, oh, we need to tax him more so we can get more out of Alex. What kind of shit is that? Yeah. But that is the society we're raising. We're raising damn victims, and then, and then, they sit here and get mad at me because I talk like this on, on YouTube. Yeah, it's just the truth. But Alex, I let you. I let you have it. I don't want. I don't want your family to come kill me. <laughs> no, that's why I say like because I agree. I see and agree with all your points. I just don't care as much, and that's why I say like if you have the money to do it, then like who cares? Because there's people richer than you and me that do it, and it's like. At the end of the day, they still have money to do whatever the hell they want with. That's why I just don't care. But with, like, 
like as far as me receiving stuff no i just i think it's like i around christmas my cousins would be like what do you want and i'll be like whatever you're gonna spend on me just save that money like i just don't care it's like it doesn't do me any benefit and then especially on my birthday why am i gonna celebrate my own birthday so i'm gonna pick a day out of the year to blow as much as i want on myself which would just prevent me from achieving my goals like that doesn't make sense so like i mean last year i was closing on that one house on around my birthday you know it was like and people were like hey, why don't you take a break you know you're on the phone with these lenders like what <laughs> you know the, but, and this is the mentality of these people um it's like like you say it's it's created a society that just feels like they are entitled to these special days there's nothing that is so special about it uh other than society telling you that it's special you know like like you make the point all the time with like father's day you know why tell me happy father's day when you could tell me i was a good dad the rest of the year i mean yeah it's a valid mm -hmm. thing a valid point why 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 do you have to create a day to uh and just so everyone knows okay kirby being a vet he doesn't even care about memorial day or veterans day so don't try to say like well then you know because it doesn't it just doesn't apply like to anything it's like days are days you know it's just whatever but and this this is another call out like when it's my birthday on on the date that i was born I make sure I'm working the whole day. I make sure if I have nothing to do, I will find something to do work wise to work the whole entire day. I refuse to be like these people. I refuse. I know, absolutely. And the reason why I care and I say nobody do it, and I get what you're saying if they can afford to do it, is because art imitates life. These celebrities do it and they have these big blowout bashes. If you see a celebrity doing it, you see it on YouTube. Every, all the broke people got to do it too. And I, that's the reason why. That's the reason why I can't say nobody should do it because I know I can use the caveat water. The people can do it, and of course, oh, so we ain't got no money. We don't deserve to celebrate. No, they shouldn't do it either. So they won't convince y'all ass to do something stupid like that. <laughs> they spend in. They spend in point zero 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 one percent of their money for Christmas. You spend in ninety nine percent of your money going in debt, credit card debt for Christmas. Two different lifestyles, two different things. But of course, everybody gonna play the victim. How about get some money first and then spend a low percentage towards these holidays for what? I mean, like you just said, Father's Day. If you call me, I wish one of my kids would call me and tell me after Father's Day. I will slap shot him. If the government have to tell you to call me and say happy Father's Day or I'm a good dad, I fail. I fail. Same thing with Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas. Like my son, right now, my son. My son don't be like, oh, well, yeah, on Christmas, I'm getting this. He didn't be like, oh, let's go get it. What is it, two, three, three o'clock? Yeah, let's go get it. It ain't no, I ain't sitting here bribing him. Oh, if you don't be good, Santa's not going to bring you anything. The heck? Santa ain't brought me nothing ever. That's the that's the thing I'm talking about. They they trained you to lie to these kids to grow up to be these people that will keep consuming and regurgitating history and keep failing. I just don't do it. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. My son, his birthday is one of those days. I look at him, you lie? Oh, cool. I don't be, oh happy birthday. You can't leave out. Get the hell out of here. You can't leave. You can't leave out that one time I said. I said, wait, does your son even know his birthday? You were like, no. And Kirby's son was like, he was what, like eight years old? <laughs> he was like, you were like, he doesn't need to know till he's 18. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, somewhere. No birthday. Man, all that stuff. That stuff is irrelevant, man. It's, I mean, it's absolutely irrelevant. And I just don't, I don't care about it. Ain't no cake and ice cream. Ain't no, no, hell no. I don't have time for that stuff, man. And, but, and again, I don't want my son just to be a victim and thinking, not a victim, or or thinking that, oh, it's it's supposed to be this way. If I'm starting a new tradition, my new tradition is we ain't celebrating the damn thing. But you can go out and get it. We can get whatever you want. But we ain't waiting for that day to come. But I'll stop. I know we're running over. 
with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Share this video. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.